exciting day in the University of Limerick um, as we get to as we get to the finals day with open finals starting later on in the day but we're going to be starting here with the 15 and under singles and um, I've got a very special guest in the house with me in commentary today I've got one of the greats of women's game and um, multiple times senior champion and world champion I've got Fiona Shannon with me how are you today Fiona I'm good I'm good final day so excited for the games ahead today for sure it's been uh, like it's been an amazing week of handball here in, in Limerick um, the games have been coming thick and fast and there's been a lot going on and I know today there's a lot, lot of tired bodies but there's a lot of excitement here straight away because we've got two of the best young talents in the game um, coming on court here yeah, and for, for the two of them, like they've had an unbelievable um, tournament this week. And as you said, like, you know, even Kevin came in there early this morning and he was still buzzing, still had that uh, bounce oh, and step. And I'm going, oh, to be young, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's not an age thing. Um, but yeah, the two lads are unreal. And I know they had a really close encounter for the um, the trials for Team Ireland. Yeah. Um, Kevin took that on a tiebreaker. So, so yeah, it's. So we wouldn't like we, to be calling it. No, it's a, it's a toss up. So we've got That's Kevin not. McGrath from Armagh, and we've got Bertie Dunhue from Galway contested a 15 and under final. Kevin McGrath actually contested the 13 and the 15 and under yeah, division, the which is World the feat World in World itself. Final. showing that he can step, step up above his age grade. And proceed um, from Tanel. Yeah, I Ireland. suppose in a sense for the team Ireland, you know, that's where the. Um, the selection process started it was 15, and he, yeah, he, he wanted to be on that team. Right. I don't suppose. It's a, like it's a great, it's a brave zero move to, to go up there, and you know, zero, his zero. development the last year, he's a real exciling prospect. But Bertie Dunhue is no bad player in his own right. He's had a big lad. So that's yeah. a good shot by Kevin. The he's hustle's the on line. from the start. Oh, these boys are ready to go. This first rally is going left and right. That's uh, first Fine. blood to Bertie Donoghue. Um, Bertie Donoghue from Nishmore Island in Galway. 1-0. Again, a real, really thriving Wombo community out there. And that's well really left. intelligent yeah. play from, from Kevin. Um, and it just shows you one like one. that he is relaxed because, yeah. you know, in any other sense, a lot of players, especially at that age, maybe would have took that in a panic. Yeah. But he kept his composure and left Fight. it. Our referee for this match is no stranger to the big occasion either. We've Two got one. Michael Finnegan doing the refereeing duties. Fairness to Michael, he's refereed some match games this week. Screen. Former senior champion with the great Paul Brady from Cavan. So well that goes Two one. to the screen serve and that's, we're at 2-1 now at the moment to Kevin McGrath of Team Ireland, the official Let team again. representative in the 15 and under division. Moved. So, uh, it's called the replay. Sometimes Two, on these courts, it can be a little bit hard to hear the referee because, oh, the, because the speaker's actually facing out to the crowd. So it could be a little bit hard to, you know, get your ear in on what the referee's calling. If you call a replay, Two, one. the ball gets, ball gets uh, thrown back in. Nice deep serve there. That's oh, a great shot. Like shot. Brilliant control from Kevin McGrath. He gets in with an overhand. Three one. And he just spikes it into the floor. Short. Great shot. Second serve. He's really got a lovely skill set with both hands, doesn't he? He has for sure. Yeah. He's great attack and play, and also great defensive play. Oh, yeah. just the hand error though. Yeah. They're sure. going to happen, I suppose. They they sure are. And yeah. I, it's happened plenty to me this week. <laughs> Two three. <laughs> so. Bertie goes with a deep serve to the left hand baseline. He goes with the spike on his right hand. That's oh, a great nice shot, shot as well. Nice we pick. 3-3. Goes to 3 all, but called by the referee. Really good defensive work for oh, uh, nice. hand error by Kevin. A it's little just bit, bit flat-footed there. Yeah. He didn't kind of push into Four, it, three. Move forward into it. With Rally scoring each point is a big is going to be a winner here, so it puts a little bit of pressure. Oh, it's going to be a replay as yeah. the ball comes across the court. On court three at the moment, we do have the 60 oh, three. over 60s final with the great Robbie McCarthy Sr. Fine. and Rory Lynch contesting that 
Rory Lynch of the St. Bridges Club. It's 12-4 in that game to Robin McCarthy. 5-3. And we're at 5-3 here with Bertie Donoghue. Yes. That's a great shot. It's a shot. Kevin just slides across, hits it with the right side arm. Four, that five. kills it in front. Wow, that's a brilliant shot. That's a, a hand error. A few hand errors from Kevin early, early here. It's, again, I know the nerves are Six, big four. for these, these finals, and he'll probably settle into it a little bit more. Aww, that's a hand error as well. Again, <laughs> the lads actually <laughs> laughing at each other because these two boys don't usually make such colossal hand errors, but it's early in the game here, Fiona. It is, and you Five know, six. like tensions are high. It's a, it's a, it's a world title that they're playing for here. So, Five. it's a, yeah, it's a big occasion as well. And he, already we have the the bleachers, the half full here. There's a lot of people watching. Six six. It's going to be a, it's going to be some spectacle later on today when it's full for the, the open mm -hmm. finals, but. Yeah, for sure. The atmosphere all week's been amazing. amazing. And all the courts right throughout. You know, and it's like from the young the young kids watching the games right up, you know, it has. It's yeah. I think for Minister for State, Kevin Byrne was here six. yesterday and he was amazed. He was say he was at the Olympics as well. He said this holds its own against the Olympics any right day. Down. The atmosphere he just he actually just turned up when Fiona was playing seven, the Nisha, he got a right spectacle in that game. That was an unbelievable was battle unbelievable. between the yeah. girls. It was, Sorry. which was great to see. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. as a co-worker and Ulster member with myself, Alicia was right. disappointed, really disappointed oh, for her. She played her heart out. Because she, she gave so much to the game. She gives yeah. so much to the game. And, you know, you want to it's seven. You want to see performance that, as, as a minimum. Obviously, everyone wants to win, but minimum you want to see performance. And she was electric yesterday in the singles and the doubles. Yeah. And disappointed in both, I know, but yeah. that's a The two of them definitely shot. put on a spectacle, Nine, for sure. Seven, like, so. It was just someone had to lose. It was one of those games. So as we so see first. a timeout here, um, Kevin McGrath with a two-point lead. This, this has kind of gone back and forth so far this game. Yeah, I don't think the two, any of the two of them have really settled into the game as yet. I suppose yeah, it is. Yeah, a few it's few nervy hand errors yeah. and whatever. From, I'm from sure. Both. It's a, look at that age. Like I, to be honest, I wasn't even playing at that age. So seeing such high standard of handball at that age, and to see them so composed, mm -hmm. you know, for such a big occasion. Yeah. Like it's it's a testament to themselves and their parents that. It shows how much work and effort they've put in there, you know. Ten seconds. Oh, 100%. Like, you know, and you know yourself with, with the handball, with the individual sports, you are relying on the parents to do the travelling and take them Big everywhere. Time. And, you know, and I know both of them because I know both their parents. Of course. You see them at every tournament, and that's where all the good, good players are. Yeah, these boys are an absolute credit Nine, to seven. Their, their clubs. Um, as we go back into this game now. Um, Having a few technical difficulties with the scoreboard, but we're still taking over here. And we're at 10-7. Ten seven. Ten seven. Team Ireland represented by sure. Kevin McGrath. And Bertie Donahue. Second serve. Of Inishmore Island. That's good work. Out. Kevin McGrath moving Bertie left and right here and taken a, a really strong position in the middle of the court. 11, seven. Yes. Handball is very simple when you break it down to those type of terms. When the man in the middle is, or the woman in the middle as per se, they, they're the dominant force. Yeah. You know, I have a great saying, serve and shoot. Keep it simple. 11. Well, you were good at that, <laughs> i tell you that much. Sure. Only it was as easy to do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sure was. You're, you're very, very much a proponent of that game, getting in early and shooting those, those kill shots. One but short, 8-11. Obviously, we'll have the four World, World Championships in later on in October and into early November, so we know we'll see Out. plenty of you back on stream for those as well. As Kevin McGrath makes a hand error and puts it over the sideline and scores a tight Nine up 11. again. As the minutes tick down, we're about eight minutes into this first first final. That's a good shot by Kevin. A great pick, pick by Bertie. Bertie gets up and he digs out again. 
That should give him a lot of confidence. Oh, oh. It's a great shot. 30, 10, 11. really well. And then doing a drop shot with his offhand. An outrageous piece of skill. Kevin digs it into the I floor. He needs a timeout here. Yeah, he Re just need, maybe needs to yeah. settle himself. Like, Reset. Hand airs are going to happen. You just have to almost accept them, you know? And as you well, said, so the, with the rally scoring, it's, you don't have that same time. You know, you have to try and... You have 11. to be switched on. You have to recompose yourself quickly because, you know, it's um, each rally is going to be a winner. And in fairness, I, I, I would have been conf, conf, a little bit worried about the rally scoring until I went to the European <laughs> Tour. And I just so uh, it really 11. works with this game because it just means that yeah. the games are taking over. The games generally are closer, mm -hmm. you know. I actually think it makes Point. it more exciting. Yeah, I think so too. That's that extra that, bit of excitement too. The thing is, it, 13, if 11. there's an out ball over the sideline, it's a double jeopardy. Yeah. You're losing serve yeah. and you're lo losing the hand, so. Nice, he's moving very really well. He's yeah. moving about the court a wee bit more now. Yeah, do you know, it's it's amazing for a lad so young. As, as I said, he's still in the 13 14, and under. 11. And he's, even though he's obviously shown his emotion and holding his hand in his, his, his head in his hands a few times, Point. but he recomposed himself so quickly. Okay. Yeah, and he's a smart player. He's not he's not just hitting the ball up and down the court. 15, he's, he's, he's using his angles and everywhere. moving birdie and trying to dominate that front fourth, as we said before, which is so important. So we're at 15 11 here in the first matchup between Kevin McGrath and Bertie Donahue. This is um, Chris Gavgan bringing you former ladies champion in the four wall division. Uh, Fiona Shannon in code commentary here with me. Um, Fiona, you've, you're currently a development officer for Ulster GA Handball. Um, you've seen, and we've seen that really, especially in the one wall, quite a dominant period for Ulster Handball, especially in the All Ireland Championships a couple of weeks ago. A lot of titles went up north, Ten seconds. especially to Arman, to, to Tyrone. Um, how have you seen the development of the sport in Ulster? It's, it's, it's booming. I mean, you'll even see here today yeah. already on the court, we have two Ulster players 15, in the final. Um, and moving forward as the day progresses, um, there's a lot of Ulster competitors that are, that are up there. Also through the plate, we have a lot of medals going home. Yes. Um, and obviously having the staff. Oh, it's a great shot by Bertie. You know, us as coaches in and out of the schools and, you know, yes. raising the awareness of it. You know, when it's I first originally started the 12, job, 15. some schools didn't know what handball was. Now everybody knows what handball is. That's brilliant. That, you know, they all know what it is. They mightn't all play it, but they all know what it is, which is a great start. And hopefully we see the same growth of the sport in Connacht. There's a, I know there's, a, even though we've seen a number of titles going home and my, uh, 13, 15. my commentary buddies, Ollie Cassidy and Quillen Burke, will be in their own World Championship finals later on. That's a great shot by Kevin. Oh, he goes for a spike. Went for something that kind of a little bit risky. He could have just maybe feathered in, but he yeah. went for the kill anyway. 14, 15. We're at 14, 15. That lead that, that Kevin had just evaporated so quickly. As he goes down the court. That's yeah. a great shot, it's beautiful hands as he feathers that ball into the left, left hand side. 16 14. For such a, a, a small lad and for a lad that's up his age group, he's able to match the power of Bertie very he has well. Unbelievable power, I have to say. It's great technique. Yeah. And it's all to do, I think, the power comes with you know, his, his footwork and his force going forward. Yeah, you know, yeah, he, he's he moves into the game right, and that, that helps getting that power. You know. 17, he's clearly 14. very well schooled, and he's obviously put a lot of effort in. Not saying anything about Bertie. Oh, that's a great shot by Bertie. Bertie, again, he is not going away. He's No. He's, 15, uh, 17. Again, naturally bigger lad, a little bit older, and... He's a top class technician himself now. That's a good shot by Bertie Poon. Driving now left. That's down the line. Bertie on the fly. Oh, he puts it into the ground. It's a mistake. It's Kevin McGrath now just three points away from taking this first game. This is a real pick him. It's hard to pick who's going to take this first 18, game. 15. And in rally scoring, this, as we've seen, Bertie is taking spells of dominance as well. So Kevin with the shot 
puts Bertie back down the left. That ball's going to be replayed though. Oh. Referee lets it go. Said that the ball. 16 18. Bertie a little bit lucky there. Yeah. Some referees would have called that early, but the referee no. let, let it go to see if the play would develop as the ball straight on the court. Um, Bertie hit a winner just as he was about to call, I think. Second serve. So at 16 18, with Bertie pulled this one out of the fire. Bertie goes back down Kevin's left. That would look too bad. Good call from Kevin. Very sporting. Thank you. It's, uh, Seems to be a little bit tired here, 18. Kevin. You know, just about. Yeah. Tired has crept in a little bit. It's a good shot by Kevin. That's outside from Bertie. That's it. We be disappointed with that. He's very aggressive. Again. 1917. We're at 1917. This is still anyone's match. Kevin puts it down the shot. line. Bertie runs for it. Set. And that's that a great domination shot. up front, that's it. That's what he uh, needs to do, just keep moving about. That's what Kevin needs. Yeah. Kevin, that's what Kevin's doing. He's just dominating that short line. We're at game 20, point of the first game. game. 17. Bertie has to play flawless handball if he's going to try and pick this. But he's not going to do it. That's the what first game. To finish. That's an unbelievable first game from Kevin McGrath. He's 21-17 up in the first game. Yeah, that'll Pretty definitely easy. help settle him there. That'll help Getting that first the game out of the way. We, uh, we see the crowd forming in the University of Limerick and they, we're out, off to an absolute flyer here. That's the first game, 21-17. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with the second game. Okay, we're almost ready to go here in the second <laughs> game. I'll tell you this much, Kevin looks so happy out there. He, he does. He has a big smile on his face, tipping the ball. He's won the first game. 
he's loving life. He's playing really well. Yeah, um, and, and even from he came in this morning, I seen him come in there just before nine o'clock. Okay, and last second game. Straight gloves, straight on, and straight on yeah, that court. Yeah, like yeah. there was no ah, mess zero, zero. and a really, smile on his face. Yeah, yeah. I then see Bertie give him a bit of a pat on the back, and he's yeah. in the same. They're, they're in the place they want to be. They're playing in the big stage. They're on the stream, you know. Yeah. That's what everyone wants. Except Every handballer wants their day in the sun, and this is an opportunity for both, both one these zero. lads. As we Bertie gets off the mark here, one zero in, for, in the second game. Oh, nice kill! Great kill. He moved well out there, nice and fast to take that with his he right. He did, and Bertie was right on that. If mm -hmm. that wasn't right, he one would, one. Bertie would have been picking that. It's a good angle, yeah. putting Bertie under pressure because he's actually have to shift his whole body outside mm -hmm. the the sideline. 2-1. The confidence is up from Kevin already. You can see he's much looser now than he was at the start of the game. That's a good nice shot. shot. That, Bertie's not going anywhere. He's got great hands. And Kevin, for sure, can't relax. 2, two. To keep the pressure on. Definitely not. Can't take the eye off the ball at all. It's a fine line between enjoying yourself and being too loose. That was a hand error from Kevin. 3-2. That's nice a good kill. kill by Bertie. Later on in the day, we do have the men's and women open singles final. Um, we'll have Four two. Martina McMahon from the Broadford Lum Club in Limerick. She will be playing Fiona Tully from the St. Coleman's Club in Roscommon. And in the men's final, we'll have Nasty Naz Martson versus um, Timbo Gonzalez. Two New Yorkers, Four Timbo with a win Four yesterday two. over the great, go great golden child, Taiwan Cook. Oh. And unfortunately for our own Three team four. captain, Conor McEldoff lost to Naz um, in two absolute epics. Unreal That's a great Kelly shot from Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, Joe, his, his four, composure four. and the, the way he recomposes himself is so impressive at such a young age. Point. That's that. Be impressive if he, if he was a 35 year old man to recompose himself so quickly, but at that age, just not to let five, one four. bad rally floss to you. That's it. And I suppose you know he's here, we're all under the one roof this week. Point. And he's seen the best players, as you say, the open Six, guys four. are on later. And yeah. I'm sure Kevin's taken a lot of. Learning from watching them as well. That's an out ball. How to progress this game. I see a, an Ireland flag flying in the background here. Oh, yes. it's a Limerick flag actually. Well, so Nina McBride just won that first game there for Antrim, some goals club in Antrim there. Oh, that's fantastic. In the she's Five playing six. Kira O'Reilly from, from St. Bridget's. Oh, nice. It's a great shot. Brilliant shot by Kevin. There's a wee Kevin. bounce in the step. Seven five. It? Yeah, it just fades away and hits that sure. side arm. He's just, he's just, as you said, he's floating around the place yeah. at the moment. Like he's got some serious Second skill serve. with that left and right hand as well. He goes to an overhand drive. Bertie goes down the line. Oh, That's a brilliant shot. Sweet shot. It's as good a one ball shot as you'll see today. Six seven. Good power from Bertie. It brings it to six seven. Nice, That's oh, a good what a shot. comeback! <laughs> it's, it's these two boys are putting on the show. Eight six. Eight six now. That's outside. Out. Kevin snatches at the ball there. He's not too happy with the hand error, but we've got our first world champion of the day, Robbie McCarthy Senior. Wins the 60 plus singles against Rory Lynch of the St. Bridges Club in Dublin. Congratulations to Robbie. A bit of a consolation, I'm sure, for um, the McCarthy family after he lost the Open semi finalists last night. I see him embrace his family. As we go to a quick timeout here. Again, the lads taking on some water and instruction. Just keep going. Not more than three feet keep away from down. each other. <laughs> so they're not worried about what the other team hearing what they're saying. That's it. 
But Do you know what? There's such maturity in their game. I don't think right, there's much coming from the sideline here. It's They're unbelievable yeah. at their age. It's unbelievable to see how mature and how composed, how professional these lads are looking. Seven, eight. They're real superstars of the future. Um, Hold it. Could, Long could ball. be seeing this in the senior final in a couple 30. of years' time. Yeah. You know, um, we've uh, Second serve. got to say the depth of talent in the Irish game at the moment is so highly impressive. You know, um, uh, you see from the 19s and under, out. all great no, contestants so well. Sorry. So many Irish players in, I in the finals of over. these. You know. I called it out. Play it again. Uh, just a replay there. Just got to play no, down to some of the development officers out there, Fiona. Nah. <laughs> if we'd only get more, that's, that's it. it. That, but you that, know, if, start if we get we more, build that up. that's a great right. shot by Kevin. We, if we get more development officers, that's a very good sign. 100%. And I think, you know, with, with the demands there for it, you yeah. know, and definitely having, having the Nine line of the, the counties. Okay, so it will be short. Kevin McGrath go to an overhand drive. He's looking to make a big push now and try and secure his first world title of a possible Second serve. double in the singles. So contested the 13 yeah, That's good. an over. That was good. He left that. That was good. He, <coughs> Kevin must be strong favourites for the 13 and nine. singles now as well. Yeah. After such a performance in the age group. Point. Point. Ooh. It's a little bit. It's, it's, it's funny because. He, he nine, makes nine. a big effort like that, you know, and he puts his head in his hand, but then he just resets himself and Reset like it's step <laughs> back in. It's um, I know at that that age myself, I would have been on one point would go against me, and it would have been on console, you know. But that's the same when I'm 36. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's been no comeback at all. It's a tight game. But Bertie not going Ten, anywhere nine. so far. He's his arm stripped of his kinesio tape. A lot of players really put in a big effort this week. So I mean, there's so many games, such intense games, you know. That's it. Singles and doubles. Swearing on the body for sure. Big shout out to the Sports Mobile Elite Recovery I'm out Clinic 11, as well. They have been absolutely flat out, keeping players going for the rest of the week. That's a timeout called. Um, yeah, it's said lad's just taking a quick breather just to recompose himself. Bertie Donahue with the 11 9 lead at the moment after Kevin McGrath took the first game. But this game is still anybody's to take. So, in as we see on court three, seconds. the 50s final, we've got Joe Kaplan of New York City, the open. The open small ball finalist. He's playing Jared Vale of New York City. So this will be really nine. interesting. On court three. Now as we get back. Nice oh, it's a great pick, pick with these offhand. Oh, oh, Bertie goes for the kill. He just his dive across with a back scoop of his right hand. And then the what oh, a it's a great serve. That is it. He shaped up left. Bertie takes 11, one step 11. and wrong foots him. Another smart move. Oh, and again. Line. And again. Oh, no. Bertie can't believe it. 11. He fakes him out twice in a row. Bertie. Such maturity there. Unbelievable. Oh, it's unbelievable. 11 9 down to 13 winning 13 11. 11. A big push from, from Kevin. He, Goes down the right again. Nice pick. Oh, oh no! Bertie with a great, great dive. Picks it. And that just says sometimes, like we saw with well, Fiona 13. and Alicia yesterday. Sometimes Fiona just poked it back up, just got a hand on it from the serve. And the shot was there for easy. Oh, it's a great shot by Bertie. But just, you know, that 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 little bit of luck, sometimes just putting the ball yeah, into 13. play. You know, it kind of stuns your opponent. Oh, 100%. I mean, you Short. think you've won it, you, th you yeah. think you've hit them and passed them and you know to have that to go for it, you never know, you Second just serve. might get it in and it's happened many a time. The scores come together here, it's 13 points apiece. Kevin McGrath, oh and that's oh, a I hand error from that. Bertie. He'd be disappointed in that one but again it happens. 14-13.
So he'd be. Bertie is very standing very much on the left hand side of. Oh, it's a good shot. Nice play. Yeah, good control. Set. But um, Bertie, when he's take, taking the serve, he's actually shifted a long way over to the left, leaving that ball down the right 14. open every time for Kevin. I we'll think it is Kevin's serve that he has pushed him. Pushed him there. Pushed him the first right place, out, yeah. you know. That's a Point. good serve from, from Bertie. It's an or that serve is deceivingly 15, awkward. 14. Because it's kind of between your hip and your shoulder. Mm -hmm. It's an awkward place. If you don't get across, you will be in trouble. So. Ah, oh, that just Point. comes up short. As Bertie Donahue takes the lead for the Galway man. Looking to push this to a tiebreaker. 16-14. at 16-7-14 here. As Bertie go down the line. That's a hard luck for Bertie, but Kevin would have put it away anyway. He was there. He was yeah, there. He, he was, read it well. He read it well. and. No, the boys seem relaxed enough, but I'm sure there are two mothers. Oh. I don't know where 15, they are. They're asking the pressure. Don't is. you know well? <laughs> it's the, the mummies. There'll be that rosaries being for. said. Yeah. There'll be decades of the rosaries said, I all right. So. But I know we'll have a big crowd watching from our man going in this first World Championship final, and that's a big shot. That was a tired shot. Yeah. That was a just really tired shot. This is where. Together at 16. This together at 16. The referee Mike Finnegan calls the score. We go both players just five points away from the final of the second game. Bertie tries to drop it over Kevin. Kevin moving inside, both battling for position. That's a good shot by Bertie Donahue. 17-16. We're at 17, serving 15, 16 here. Bertie Donahue from Galway. Lovely, sir. Looks to bring this to a tiebreaker. Kevin McGrath. Team Ireland. Oh, it's a great shot. Bertie using his time power. Out. Yeah. The time out called by, by Kevin and tells him time out to take. Bertie of shots is there just that he three points think away Kevin now. Should have went for there, you know, just put that first one away where he's playing it in. But again, it's easier, easy sitting back here and watching it and Absolutely. saying what they should be doing. One thing that I will definitely say is that it's great to see that both players are just talking to one coach. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, like, it could be a committee of coaches and people that want people to win. And sometimes it's just easier to take a little bit of very simple instruction in, the, in this part of the game. I think both players just have to look at their fundamentals, really keep their eye on the ball, try and cut out some of the hand errors and sharpen things up and the opportunities will come because they're both playing yeah, unbelievable lads. handball. 100%. Listen, you can see the maturity in their game. Those boys know what they're doing wrong. 18-16. Yeah. You know, and hard to change that. They don't need people during their timeouts <laughs> going on and on. Oh, That's a great boy. shot. Yeah. Kevin raised his hand. He, he enjoyed that. That opportunity yeah. came and he went for it. He went aggressive. These are two very confident young men. 17-18. Now, we go a shot down the line. Bertie reads at that time. Oh, that's in, the, that looked like it was good. He hit the line. Yeah. Looked like on the line from here. Yeah, it dropped in. Bertie's 19, been good at those shots. 17. Those straight very ones good down right the on line. the line. It's a high risk, high reward, especially this time of the, mm -hmm. time of the game. Bertie goes outside the line, goes inside. That's oh, that was, he just left it too central. He needed to get either more angle or more down the line than that. Um, but he left it in front of Kevin, and Kevin duly puts it away. Where is he? The floor is just a bit wet there. They're going to dry it up. Joe Kaplan going for his over the over 50 titles I know that he won the four wall over 50 titles and the three wall over 50 titles and the US one wall of 50 titles a couple of weeks ago so he's looking to close out all the over 50s this year he's actually that serving left-handed yeah played a lot of handball this week he's actually serving left-handed here which is 
shows a measure of confidence that you don't see usually. But yeah. After so many games after over a couple of days. He's actually got a 5-1 lead as well, so. Joe Kaplan, one of the greats of the game. If you are in the Limerick vicinity, definitely come down here today. It's starting to fill up big time already. And I was talking to Lerz Arista from the Basque Country earlier on. He's get, he's down here, he's getting a couple of games in this morning with Julio Carlos and Mohamed Mansi just to get training games. So they, again, trying to get as much out of these, our American visitors as possible. <laughs> Okay, well, they get the chance uh, every day 18, to see 19. all these international players here. So if you're yeah, around the area, you get down here. Okay, oh, what oh, a shot, nice. by, what a shot oh. by Kevin. What a shot by Kevin. He's, that's Unreal. a showtime shot. Ball down On the a line. final to pull that off <laughs> too. It's, it's outrageous. That, like. The confidence is massive. you got to see. That's a great yes. shot by Kevin. And we're at together at 19 here 20, in the second game. game. Ball. Hold it. Oh, it's at 20. Sorry, sorry, I miss miss the score, but we're at 20, serving 19. Hold it. Phenomenal last two points there from Kevin. They, do you know what? Game that ball, ball coming 19. across the court might have just given a little bit of time to to compose himself. Kevin goes down the line. He's only a point away from becoming the 15 under world champion. Bertie goes and kills oh. the ball with his flat, kills it. That is an outrageous shot with his off hand. Bertie Donahue is not going away. And this is going to be the last rally of the second game. Can Bertie Donahue drag this 20. to a tie game break? Ball. So this is game ball, game ball. Last rally of the match. Bertie Donahue sure. goes, short, goes for a big angle serve. He hits it short though. Brave serve as well to go for that big angle. Second serve. We're going to second serve. He serves it deep, that goes down the line. Bertie puts it up in front to Kevin. Kevin digs out deep. Bertie oh. puts it out and Kevin is the world champion. Kevin McGrath, 21-20 in the second game. The two of them should be so proud of themselves. But that was an well absolute done, masterclass well at the first 15 and under the singles. The two boys embrace their good friends. An absolute storm in performance. Unbelievable for the two of them. A world title for Kevin McGrath and a lot of pride for Bertie, Bertie Donahue, who put on an absolute masterclass in his own right. See the moms down there, oh, that's you know, fantastic to see. That's his first world title in these championships. He's going to be, Kevin is going to be contesting the 13 and under singles final as well. Um, but what an absolutely fantastic performance from Kevin McGrath. Team Ireland off to a win in the first of the centre court matches. We're going to take a quick break. Afterwards, we're going to have the 15 and under singles final between Lucy McCullough and Boo Murphy. We'll be back in two minutes.